Two more very valuable items to have, very efficient as well, especially in regards to if you're restricted by space, if you're sharing or you're in a commune or something and you don't have that much space, this is the perfect little area. Or basically, one rubber made like so, and a dish, what, dish drainer which sits in there. And I'll show you the, the first um, benefit of it. Like I said, we have drained the seed. So basically, we want this to dra drain even more so overnight. And as you can see, there's still water there. So basically, we're going to place it in the drainer at, a, at an angle of 45 degrees. Let me show you, elevate this so I give you an idea. So basically, it sits like so. And then that'll drain overnight. So by the time in the morning, this seed will actually be dry. There's nothing worse than trying to plant with wet seed. So the drier the better. So don't be alarmed if it's, there's no such thing as too, too dry. You want it dry as you'll, as you'll learn. But re also remember to have that angle of drainage and allow a space between the seed and the upper so the air can get in and up to the back of the seed. And if you're planting more than one variety, you can get a number of jars in here quite effectively. And as I'll explain in the jar method earlier, later on, uh, you can grow a, a many varieties all in this little space. So there we have it. We've, we've begun the vital process of actually uh, uh, transforming this dry seed in, 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 into its first stages of life from the dry seed to the wet to, the, to actually the, what, what's known as the pre-sprouting stage. Here's an example of a seed that actually has been drained for that period of time, left overnight, so it is actually dry. And as you can see, it has actually started to pre-sprout and the tail has appeared. Even at this stage, you can actually eat the seed. It's very nourishing for you. Also at this stage, you can also uh, use it to make a seam bread, etc., etc., manna bread, um, and also uh, um, other interesting things. So it's the next day. You sow to seed the, the, the day prior to it, and come next morning, it's time to plant. What we need is our tray, which I showed you early on. We're looking at this uh, big guy here for the wheatgrass. We need our soil, which we have measured out in our jug, as I explained. Nice heaping jug for there is the amount of soil that you're going to require. So what we're going to do now is actually lay the soil out. We want a, uh, a nice even playing field. We don't want hills and dales, we want it as flat as possible. Simply using this wonderful tool that we've got two of, just gently spread it as like so. You're not actually pressing it down. You don't want to press the soil down so it's a very light feather touch to spread it. But you want it evenly. And make sure that it's not too high on the, on the edges there. Take your time, enjoy yourself, get the feel of the soil. Now we want our seed, and we want the amount of seed in the 12 ounce actually. 8 ounces of seed is going to give you 12 ounces of sprouted seed. So how 
how are we going to plant this seed? Well, we certainly don't have to do this. Well, you can if you want to, but the quick way is, as I will show you, one is that you don't want to plop it all in the middle and try and spread it, or have it at one end and try and bring it to the other end. It's simply um, an art of shaking the seed very gently, nice little angle, to get a nice even coating. The art of spreading the seed is to get uh, a, a uniform lay of seed also, so uh, beware of what's known as uh, clumping up of, of several layers. You don't want that happening because you get what's known as hot spots. So there we have it. And that's not going to happen overnight. Uh, it took me 17 years to develop this skill. There you go. So there we have the seed ready for the next stage. Now from here we're just going to actually lightly uh, wet the seed, like so. Let me show you that uh, a spray unit I was showing you early on. Let's just show, show you how efficient it is. It's a simple pump action. Like I said, there's your source of water for the whole duration of the plant. And it's a pump action. And you're not actually drowning it, you're just adding up, uh, some moisture to it. Because during the next step, it's actually going to create its own water system because of, of the heat it gives off. 